India has a long history and its cultural tradition is also very old. Indian culture is multidimensional in character. India's cultural heritage is one of the most ancient, extensive and varied among all those which make up the cultural heritage of mankind. Throughout the ages, many races and people contributed to India's culture. Some came into contact with her only temporarily. Others settled permanently with borders to keynote of the distinctive culture thus evolved way was synthesis on the basis of external values. In this vast land, we see people around us speaking different languages, practicing different religious and rituals. Diversities exist even in their food habits and dress patterns, music and dance, but within all the diversities where is an underlying unity which acts as a cementing force. The composite and dynamic character of Indian culture is a result of rich contributions of all these diverse cultures groups over a long period of time. The distinctive features of Indian society are the product of many social ideas and actions and the precious procession of all Indians. We will look at the features of Indian society in the following sections. India is a hierarchical society within Indian culture, whether it the north of the south, in Hindu or Muslim, urban or village, virtually all things, people and longs of people are run accordingly to various essential qualities, caste and caste-like groups, those quintessential groups with which almost all Indians are associated and rangered between the extremes of the very high and very low caste. However, there is sometimes disagreement on the exact relative ranking of the castes clustered in the middle throughout India. Individuals are also ranked according to their wealth and power within families and kinship groupings. There are many distinctions of hierarchies such as seen among the men and women. Secular outlooks in other important features of Indian culture. The secular character of Indian culture is a result of the intermining of people belonging to the dissolved culture group over the long period of time. There have been instances of occasional conflicts here, there, but by the large people have lived together peacefully for centuries. The Popular cultural tradition of India are the best example of such cultural synthesis in which a large number of people belonging to different religious groups come together. Because of the great variety of thoughts and habits in our country, dominance of one of the particular thought is not possible. Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists, Jains, Parsis and Jews live in India. The constitution declares India to be a secular country. Everyone is free to profess, practice and propagate any religion of his or her own choice. The state has no religion of its own and all religions are treated equally by the state. No one is to be discriminated on the basis of religion only. The people have to large extent development a broad outlook and they believe in the concept of leave and let others leave, notion of purity and pollution. Many status differences in Indian society are expressed in terms of ritual purity and pollution. Notions of purity and pollution are extremely complex and very greatly among different caste, religious groups and regions. However, broadly speaking, high status is associated with purity and long stats with pollution. Some kinds of purity are inherent on inborn or example, a member of a high-ranking Brahman or priestly caste is born with more inherent purity than a member of low ranking sweet sweeper caste. Purity is associated with the ritual cleanliness, daily bathing and flowing water, dressing in property, laundered clothes of approvals, materials, 
eating only the foods appropriate for one's caste, refraining from physical contact with people of lower rank and avoiding involvement with ritually impure substances. However, if he were to eat meat or commit other trans aggression of the rigid dietary cues of his particular caste, he would be considered more deeply polluted and would have to undergo various purifying rites and payment of finest imposed by his caste council or order to restore his inherent purity. These and the great many other tradition rules pertaining to purity and pollution consistently immigrant upon interaction between people of different caste and ranks in India. Although to the non-Indian these rules may seem irrational and bizarre, to most of the people of India they are ubiquitous and accepted part of life. Thinking about the following purity and pollution rules make it's necessary for people you may constantly aware of the different in status. In fact, the expression of social status are intricately bound up with events that happen to everyone. Every day eating, drinking, bathing, touching, talking and talk tra transaggressions of the rules, whether deliberate or accidental and are seen having immediately polluting effects on the person of the transaggression means that every ordinary act of human life serves as a constant reminder of the importance of hierarchy in Indian society. There are many Indians, particularly among the educated urban elite, who do not follow traditional purity and pollution practices, dining in each other's homes and in restaurants in common among well-educated people of diverse backgrounds, particularly when they belong to the same economic class. Some high caste liberal pride themselves on being free from casteism and seek to accept food from the hands of every low caste people or even deliberately set out to marry someone from the significantly lower caste or a different religion. Thus even as they deny it, this progressive affirm of continuing significance of traditional rules of purity, pollution and hierarchy in Indian society, the Indian Human Development Survey conducted by the National Council of Application Economic Research and the University of Maryland also reported that 30% of rural and 20% of urban households said they practiced untouchability. Universalism, the concept of coexistence has not been conformed to be geographical and political boundaries of the country only. India has a universal outlook and if it has been promoting the message of peace and harmony to the entire world, India has been raising a strong voice against racialism and colonialism. It has protested against the formation of power blocks in the world. In fact, India became one of the founder members of the non-allied movement. India is committed to the development of other underdeveloped nations. In this manner, India has been discharging her responsibilities as a part of the world fraternity and has been contributing to the process of the world, unity and diversity. Indian culture over the last three millennia has successfully but quietly observed the best assembly and parts from the other religious in cultures from time to time and integrated them into itself. A large number of languages and dialects are spoken in our country which has led to the growth of the great variety of literature people belonging to eight great religious of the world coexist there here in a harmonious manner. Why is there so much variety in our culture? There are many reasons for this. The vastness of the country and variation in its physical and climatic features is an obvious reason for the variety. The second important reason for the variety is our culture is the intermingling among various ethnic groups since time immemorial. 
people from far and near have been coming and settling here people belonging to different racial stocks like the proto austroids the negroids and the mono monogloids life in india various ethnic group like iranians greeks Kushanas, Shakas, Hunas, Arabs, Turks, and Mughals, and Europeans also came to India, settled here, and intermixed with the logical population. The people belonged to other culture, brought their cultural habit, thought, and idea, which good in 